Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Man, I just love the springtime in Ohio. It's actually still kind of cool. Uh, it's probably about 40 degrees. I was trying to get out here. We got a storm and some high winds coming in in about two hours. Right now it's like uh, a little bit south breeze, six o'clock at about eight miles an hour. So I tell you what, <laughs> I done and did it again. I done and did it, that's right. So I gotta thank my buddy uh, Gary at Indian Creek Designs. I actually uh, purchased the Hero Mofo chassis system. This is actually, he had, I don't think he's going to make the grays anymore. So I think this is going to be a collector's item. This is awesome. I kind of like the two-tone look. This is the uh, ICD, Indian Creek Designs Mofo chassis on the Ruger American Predator 204 Ruger. Up front, I have his newest design. This is the Little John. It has the Arca Swiss uh, mount and also has the M-Lock slots up top. Moving backwards, I've got the STFU. That's right, shut the, no, no, no. This is a swinger. <laughs> this, this allows you to mount a uh, commercial buffer tube carbine or military, and you can put your favorite AR stock on the back. It actually swivels. You'll see some B-roll that I'm rolling. Right now, I have a Luth MBA-5. It's an awesome little stock. Uh, let's see what else. So I've got the Anarchy Outdoors. This is the long dragon scale titanium. Awesome bolt knob and the stainless steel handle. Up top I've got my Vortex. Uh, this one is the, I guess the 3 to 15 by 50. Awesome mill mill scope. I also have the McGowan. This is a custom 1 in 10 twist. 204 caliber, 204 Ruger chambered barrel. Awesome barrel, 22 inch stainless steel. Up front, I've got the Energetic Armament Vox S. It's a super can. I kind of did kind of a cheesy sticker on the front there. I have to talk to my buddy Carl, see, see if he can hook me up with a fresh sticker. I wrapped a, a wrapping tape around it. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I also got the Bobro Engineering Scope Mount. That works out pretty well. The name of this video is titled 204 Ruger Splash. And actually, I've never had a splash occur to me hunting varmints. Of course, this is going to be the first time I try to hunt coyotes with the 204 Ruger. And I've read some issues where people have been having uh, the super high velocity bullets impacting the shoulder or leg bone and just splashing, not, not uh, doing an effective job. So before we do that, I'm going to shoot some 100 yard three shot groups. And then I got some targets set out. I think they are, let's see what the uh, laser rangefinder says, 323 yards. And then I got my clear ballistics gel at 56 yards with the high speed camera. So first up to bat, I've got the, uh, these are Sierra 39 grain Blitz Kings. I think I'm using the IMR 8208X powder. Uh, I'll flash the uh, velocities. I don't memorize these by heart. But anyways, let me get the Tacticamp going. Stand by. Okay, I'm going to shoot the center target. Here we go. Three shot group, Sierra, 39 grain Blitz Kings. Nice, I'm liking those results. Okay, up next I'm gonna shoot the Barnes. These are the 26 grain varmint grenades. If I can find them here. Yep, there we go. I think I'm loading these with the uh, hydrogen benchmark powder. Now if you notice why I'm not using those other magazines is that those MDT mags just aren't feeding well in this uh, Indian Creek design chassis. Okay, let's shoot the top left hand target. See that hit? See, I'm using this Caldwell fire control. This thing's pretty awesome. Not too bad, kind of surprised. Okay, up next, 
These are the Lehigh Defense 30 grain control chaos coppers. I think I'm using hydrogen powder CFE 223. Once again, I don't have the velocities memorized. I'll go ahead and uh, flash the velocities when I'm shooting the groups. All right, not least, these are the Hornady 45 grain soft points. Been doing my research, apparently this and the Sierra 39 grain Blitz Kings are the Coyote, the Coyote 204 Ruger bullet of choice. These seem to, uh, this and the Sierra seem to have minimal uh, bullet splash just because of the higher weight, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to shoot the uh, top right hand target. I am using, I think I'm using a Hodgen CFE 223, I'm not sure. Tell you what, those shots are smoking pretty incredible there. <laughs> Man, I had a heck of a group going there, buddy. All right, let's check them out. Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. Sierra 39 grain Blitz Kings. Here's a quarter for reference. The uh, Barnes Varmint Grenades. Lehigh Defense Control Chaos Coppers. Hornady 45 grain soft points. All right, folks. Shooter app is calling for 0 0.6 mils come up 325 yards i just put a shot on target i'm gonna shoot for the white seal target at the very top Impact! Oh yeah, center mass right there. Let's have some fun. See the uh, water jug in the middle with the clay pigeon. Impact! Oh, I took the other one out. <laughs> okay, let's go for the water jug on the left. Impact, oh man, I'll tell you what. I think I found my new Groundhog rifle. That's for sure. Uh, I gotta top off this magazine. These are the uh, 39 grain Sierra Blitz Kings. But I'll tell you what, these bad boys are shooting accurately now. That's her doggone sure. All right, there's five. Let's go ahead and uh, continue shooting that steel plate at the top. Three. Four. Woohoo! Man, I tell you what, them suckers get there now. Ah, too much fun. Stay, stand by. All right, folks, here's the results. That's not too bad. <laughs> Buried that target. Look at that. 325 yards. Yeah, I think those uh, Sierra Blitz Kings are going to work all right. Still exploded that jug. Same thing on this one. And then the target. Not bad. 325 yards. Uh, it's probably still, I would say, 
minute. Of course, the wind's, wind's blowing pretty good. One, two, three, four. That might have been me. That's not bad. That's an inch there, 325 yards. All right, folks, so here's the setup. I've got a quarter inch thick poplar. I'm going to put two of them together. Just like this. We're going to simulate a coyote shoulder. Should be interesting. Just like that. Wood's been soaking for 48 hours. Okay, up first, this is the Barnes Varmint Grenade. Half inch waterlogged finished poplar. High speed camera, ready to go. Nice, I'm excited to see what that looks like. Here's one piece. That's kind of interesting. But I can't find that second piece. Not sure where it went off to. Check that out. That's pretty awesome looking. But, you know, this is a six inch long board. Yeah, I think you'd be hard pressed to get a coyote, man. That actually kind of proves that point with the 26 grain Barnes varmint grenade. Okay, up next is the Lehigh Defense 30 grain Control Chaos Copper. Let's see what that did. I'm walking up and, you know what, I should have marked these boards. I'm not sure. I don't know if this was from the previous. Oh, wait a minute. Here's. You know what, this is probably from the uh, Varmint Grenade. Here's the Lehigh Defense. Yeah, because I hit them off on the side. You see that? I'm not sure which one is which. Probably like that. Let's see what we got here. So impact was low. Yeah, that's a little bit better. You know, once again, six inches. Probably another four inches. Probably got ten inches. It fragged out pretty good. Okay, Sierra 39 grain Blitz Kings. I'm gonna try to shoot a little bit higher on the block. Nice. Alright folks, I got the Hornady 45 grain soft point. Here we go. Nice. Let's see what that did. Okay, once again a piece of wood was thrown backwards. Assume that was a first shot entry. I thought the second one flew off to the left there, but let's go ahead and see the damage first. That's kind of cool looking. That's probably the lead soft point right there. Oh, look at that, folks. I think we got a winner. That's a Hornady 45 green soft point, six inches. Probably another four, ten inches. Pretty good bloom as well. <laughs> Gotta love it. Check this out. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I will see you guys in a couple weeks. I'm probably going to be camping out in the woods there. I got a nice vantage point on you guys. Stay tuned.